people think about India, I reckon they're immediately transported to somewhere that's very, very, very hot, really, really, really busy, full of life, it's full of colour. We are in Oroville, which is an experimental township in Tamil Nadu. Everyone is brought together here to live their life in a certain beautiful, quiet way. It's silent, it's close to nature, it's quiet. We are Katie and Saeed Ruey, and we are co-founders of Story MFG. India is really important to us, it's super influential and we chose to work here and continue to work here because it has a kind of magic mix that allows Story MFG to grow. It took us quite a while to come up with a name. We went back and forth over different words, but we liked the idea that we would always be telling the story of the origin of the clothes, exactly how everything was made and be documenting the whole thing. At the beginning of Story MFG, we were given a few tips of places to check out for natural dyeing. First one on the list was The Colours of Nature, and we've been working with them ever since. The genesis of the company has kind of been mirrored by the colours of nature who have grown with us. There's a plethora of ways that natural dyeing happens, and they all kind of have their own intricacies and different ways about them. For indigo, the dye is taken out of the plant through a fermentation process. It's then turned into a powder which is then put into the vats, which themselves are also a fermentation process by which we can then dye yarns and fabric. And the hot dyeing is everything else. For making yellow, the jackfruit wood comes from agriculture. It's completely waste material, which we then use to extract yellow. And then we can add the fabrics and they have to be simmered for several hours and then all of a sudden the bell rings and it's chai break time. Everyone just stops. We were inspired to design the shore shirt with the moon clamp because we paired it with a kind of holiday shirt and it made it more fun. The fabric that we use for the indigo moon clamp is folded with a little circular shape embedded into it. Then it's clamped with a G clamp and then passed on to the dyers. Once the fabric has been dyed thoroughly, it's opened up and it reveals the, the different patterns and shapes that the moon clamp has left. At the bottom, it's very, very round. At the top, it disperses into a blue crosshair. The buttons are also naturally dyed. They're made from 100% Corozo nut. So the buttons take on a graded look. We really love the plight pullover. It's really fun and outdoorsy and has that vintage outdoors vibe that is the story of story. The polite pullover starts as organic cotton velvet. The velvet is then naturally dyed in iron and myroblin. The black dye is very ancient knowledge. The iron chemically reacts with the myroblin to turn a really deep black. The madder dye gives a very, very deep red. We had always wanted to start moving more towards this kind of like casual camping, hiking look. And at the same time, we were, we were starting to experiment with crochet more seriously. We really like the idea of pairing something which is a very slow craft and then pairing that with a very outdoorsy style of the polite pullover. We married the two. It was one of our biggest hits, I think. I'd say the polite pullover in its various stages has probably passed through 100 people's hands. Over 100 yeah. pairs of hands? Yeah. They're the perfect hands for the job. The bridge shorts are made from organic cotton twill that's sun bleached with earth salts. The fabric is given to Master, who is the head pattern cutter there. He cuts the pattern pieces from the fabric 
and then the pattern pieces are given to the tailors who stitch the shorts together. The shorts are then passed to the embroidery ladies who make the tiny little palm trees. Each lady embroiders a separate part, so one lady will make the leaves and a different lady will make the trunk and then the final lady will make the little black crosses that go over the top. All of the offcuts from our production are collected by Oroville Papers who sort it into colours, then they shred the cotton and then it goes into their paper making process. The dried paper is then cut into the envelopes and screen printed with our logo and our little manifesto message on the back. We always put a little gift inside the hang tag of our garments. One of them is a hand carved necklace. We feel like it's kind of an exciting, nice final touch. India is home to some of the best craftsmen in the world and it's home to some of the most amazing natural dye traditions. It's a wonderful place to base the business. There's an old saying that it takes a village to raise a child. That's so true for Story MFG. Like any of our products take all of the people we work with to get it from being nothing into being the thing that it is. I love what Story MFG has done because as we've succeeded more, everybody that works with us, we've been able to work with and grow.